without Amari Rogers. After the punt return, seem to be favoring that right shoulder. Here's Trevor Lawrence on a quarterback run right up the middle. And he gets hit hard right about at the line of the game. It looks as if that is good. Today and three years ago is they have the best offensive line in the conference now. That wasn't the case in 2016. Every aspect of their game. Play action, slant, goal line, touchdown. T. Higgins. As Trevor Lawrence back to work. TN stiff arming his way through the secondary. Very rarely does he get go get brought to the ground on that initial hit. There he is again. And again dragging tacklers for a gain of five. Through arm tackles, best tail back in the country. And then Wake Forest hurt us. Look at ETN though. Avoid the tackle for loss. ETN right up the middle at the goal line. Bowls his way in for another Tigers touchdown. For all of its glamour and greatness, it runs through CeeDee Lamb. Know where he is and he'll take you to the football. Trevor Lawrence with all day to throw a rifle strike for DeAndre Overton. If you're going to play them one-on-one, -on -one, they're often going to throw it there. Goes, comebacks, outs until you stop it. ETN. There's nothing too concerning tied to that. ETN again. Another first down for Clemson. A screen perfectly set up to J.C. Chuck. And the tight end comes up about a half-yard shot. What Wake Forest and Dave Clawson realized was we came after Clemson too much. We, we gave up way too many big plays because of the blitz, and they're, they're going to try to play a little bit more patient. They consider that a win today because this offense is based on explosive plays. Lawrence on a rollout. Dumps one to the left flat and misses Overton. And Jay Dixon still in the game next to Lawrence in the backfield. He'll take the handoff and go up the middle. And now it's third down. They actually thought they really had a good game plan coming in today. They just have to try and execute against a dynamic offense. Here comes the blitz. Lawrence in trouble. And he's sacked back at midfield. The rest of the season, well, they did it to Florida. And now they're doing it to Auburn as ETN picks up about three and a half. Moves and shifts up front. Let's see what happens here on second and six. Lawrence. Well protected, now the pocket starts to collapse, and down he goes. Another sack, this time it's Rondell Bothroy. Double shoes of Dan Orlovsky, Allison Williams, third down at 17. Lawrence with a check down to ETN, and they get him on the ground, and they do. And then some of this league, with a 14-3 lead in the ball back, and their own end, and Jake Dixon, he's caught behind the line from their defense to win 27-22 and advance to the third round next week. Dabo said he hasn't missed a game all year. Most coaches haven't seen too many close games this season. Travis Etienne right up the middle, and he's got a first down. Success that this football team has had under him is incredible to think about. There's a quick hitter, T. Higgins. He's to the 40-yard line and picks up about six. The, what were you thinking? Screen pass to Etienne. Lockers out in front. Breaking tackles. Spins down to the 42-yard line of Wake. Catch the screen. He stares one way. The defense flows, and it just creates bigger space for Etienne. Lawrence off play action. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Incomplete. Overthrew T. Higgins. Could be that same kind of RPO draw right here. And there it is. Lynn J. Dixon inside the 30. Tripped up at the 20 yard line. I also love the fact that they used it once in this drive and came back to it. Never let Wake adjust on the sidelines. There's the slant, and that's incomplete. Because he's one of the better corners in the ACC when he's feeling right. A swing pass to DeAndre Overton. It's inside the 15, down to the 14 yard Have the field. Expect Clemson to put that safety in a bind. A blitz off the edge, and Lawrence gets bottled up behind the line. Hurls it to the sideline to J.C. Chalk, but he is brought down. NFL countdown tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. Lawrence out of the pocket. And he's going to run for a first down and get bumped out of bounds along the sideline.
the receiver that he wanted wasn't there. The CTM. Forward. On the receiver screen, Justin Ross. Short of the first down. But that's what he's arguing with that is those officials about. Well, maybe he'll buy himself another call at some point between the ear of that official. Long throw to the sideline, bobbled, incomplete. Patrick Mahomes, is it good enough if you throw for 450 yards and three touchdowns? Is it enough? Like, that, think, think how insane that is to say, but that's how bad that defense has been over the past month. Lawrence throws one across his body trying to avoid the rush of Carlos Basham. Lawrence out of the pocket again. Throws one across his body. Rips it up the seam to Overton. Justin Ross makes a tackle. Makes another. And picks up eight. Draw play to ETN. Right up the middle. Inside the 20-yard line before he's finally gang tackled. Still moving the pile. The officials still have not blown this play dead. A rugby scrum down to the 14-yard line. Backs in the country, effort and talent. Lawrence with a pump fake. Looking for the back left corner of the end zone for T. Higgins. He's got another. The second first half touchdown catch for Higgins. In between Greer and Henderson. And if you compare him to Darrell Rivas, Terrell had a 44-yard pick six against Alabama in the championship game last year. And here's Lawrence. He's looking for the end zone again for Higgins. It's a hat trick for T. Higgins here in the first half. Game so far for Clemson. Long check down throw. And that's Frank Ladson. Travis Etienne. Brought down after a gain of about three. Incomplete. It cannot be a pick. Well, looking downfield, wanting to take a shot was Trevor Lawrence. Now he's extending the play, and he comes back to a secondary receiver. Play. Nothing's there. Don't force it downfield. Take checkdowns. Two good quarterbacking plays. This time, ETN bottled up at the line. Did the ball pop out? And ended up with Ryan Spenda. But they're going to say that his forward progress was stopped. With the body position, ETN never goes, got hurt there. JC Chalk spun down. And there are flags thrown. And it looks like it might have been a face masking call on Jaquez Williams. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 30. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. The flag stays in my pocket, yes. If I'm Dave Clawson, those last two calls have me out of my skin as Overton finds a cutback play and gets all the way down inside the 10-yard line. The shoulder pads? I agree with you. Here's ETN. Close to the five-yard line. If you're Trevor Lawrence. Pocket collapses. I'm not sure if that was Trevor Lawrence looking to get out of the pocket or if that was designed quarterback run. Defensively. Now it's third down and goal from the 10. Lawrence rifles one in the back of the end zone. He's got another touchdown pass. This one to the true freshman, Frank Ladson. Third of the year for Ladson. ETN. Bouncing off tacklers, gets outside, and eventually ends up losing a couple of yards. Deshaun Watson's Georgia passing records. Then he came to Clemson, and here he is handing it off to ETN. And he shows up as part of a four-quarterback group on the depth chart, but again, incredible talent, but too incredible self-belief, right? Like, there is a supreme amount of confidence in his ability, and then the work ethic is tied to it as well. With anticipation, rips it outside to T.J. Chase. Steps up in the pocket. A rifle shot down the sideline. Incomplete. When you play coverage, 
He struggles a little bit more. What does that tell you? Just patience. I, I, you got to be a Charlie check down at some point. There you go. Little screen to Lin J. Dixon. And he's in the open field. Lin J. Dixon getting blocks all the way down inside the 10 yard line. That's well, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, I don't have to watch them play to know what their box score is going to look like. It, they, they are willing to play a boring brand of football at times, and that's just the growth he needs. Well, Lynn J. Dixon makes it look easy. It's another Clemson touchdown. Said that he is as invested as anyone. I'll we'll hand one off to Lynn J. Dixon. Football these last four weeks. Blitz off the edge, picked up, and Bryce has an easy pitch and catch. First down. Davis Allen, the tight end, lowers his shoulders. Trick play. There's Will Sweeney, the coach's son. And a rare negative play here in the second half. Gotta keep two hands on the wheel. Like they gotta accelerate through the finish. Keep two hands on the wheel. Don't get comfortable because that's when the accident happens. When you get closest, kind of build build in for their future rest of the season. Another blitz, it's picked up, and Bryce throws a pick. It's off the interception with Darian Rencher now in the backfield as the tailback. Hand off to Rencher, and he stays on his feet. And spins for about eight. Have been on a mission, seemingly so ever since, as Rencher picks up a first down. Especially if they go on to the playoff, which they will, and potentially go win the national title. You could point to him and be like, that play, won us another national title. A yard falling forward as Kenneth Dix brings down Rencher. Up another trip to the ACC title game as they are looking to win their fourth consecutive. As Rencher gets down the sideline, and he's in plus territory. I'm sitting with Dabo yesterday because I knew the bye week was coming and they, they, they this would be their first bye week of the season I know what it's like it's not just words for him like that is the program that he has built it is a best of one this is the week that we have this is the one game that we have next week will handle itself Price rifles one to the sideline and drops it into Ngata for a first down. Field. Go back to last year in the Syracuse game, but a lot of good moments when he goes in the football game and executes this offense really well. Pressure and a good decision. Future, because knowing 16 is not going anywhere. Although he does have a couple of years of eligibility left. So if he hangs in, as he throws one up the seam, at the five, at the goal line, it's Ngata. Is he in? Yes, it's a touchdown. Chase Bryce sets up shop. And he'll hand one off to Ches Malusi. Encyclopedia. We've learned so much as the season has gone on. And another flag thrown as Bockhorst was called. Offense number 27. Five yard penalty. Second down. So after Matt Bockhorst picks up a 15 yard penalty, Malusi now adds on another five. Ever to go 3,000 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing. How's that for Michigan? Tremendous. Bryce taking a shot down the sideline. Just about dropped it in. Cornell Powell, the intended receiver. Outstanding. Is it? Oh. Draw play on third down and a mile. Michael Dukes gets all the way out to about the 29 yard deep at quarterback for Clemson as Ben Batson takes over. He will hand one to Michael Dukes. You know, it's been a good afternoon when your backup now is taken out of the game and he's got a headset on because of the third string. Of the Batson, close to a first down. Again, in the ESPN app later on tonight. Dukes, it's south instead of north on third down and one.